Hello and welcome to a video intended to help you with your 2022 Edexcel IGCSE Computer Science exam paper. Now, this is looking at pseudocode and one thing that I probably can guarantee for your exam is you'll get a pseudocode question. So just a warning, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not an Edexcel examiner. I don't have the 22 2022 paper, so please don't ask me for it. I'm not Mystic Meg. I cannot predict the future, but it's a fairly safe bet that you'll get a question on pseudocode. You'll have to write some pseudocode in your exam. So we'll look at some techniques to help you with that today. So it's a fairly safe bet that you're going to get a question that will either ask you to write pseudocode or fix errors in it, probably both. So make sure you can do both. I've covered the errors fixing in previous videos. Please go and have a look at that. But when writing pseudocode, a lot of students have some difficulty with this. And this is one thing that they really struggle with. So I want you to remember Vertco, V-I-R-T-C-O, like company maybe, Vertco. Can you remember that in your exam, Vertco? And this might just help you in your exam to write pseudocode. So when facing a pseudocode question where I've got to write some pseudocode, I need to be thinking about variables, the V, variables. What data does, needs to be stored? Is there input? Does the user need to input something? Is there a repeat or iteration? While loop or for loop? Do I need to do a test, test a condition? Are there any calculations that need to be done? what output will come at the end of the program. So Vertco, and we'll look at applying that to an exam question. Now, there are plenty of exam questions that you can practice with, linked to all of these in the description. There's a SAM, the 2019, 2020, and both 2021 papers all contain questions where you're asked to write some pseudocode. So it's a fairly safe bet that you're gonna get one of these in the exam. So let's go and have a look at question, an example, and apply Vertco. So I've picked out this question from November 2021, question 4C, an algorithm is needed to count and display the number of vowels in a word. Vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. A completed algorithm must count the number of vowels, create a message as a single string, print the message to display. So each of these bullet points are things that you need to do to get marks. So this is five marks. I've got a partially completed algorithm here. So you must have a go at these questions. You must try it and you must apply Vertco in the exam. So set word to elephant. So that's one of the variables taken care of, but I need to count number of vowels so there's a bit of a clue there so what i'm going to need is a variable called count to store the value of my count and i need to set that to zero right at the start so i've set count to zero and you must try to use the edexcel notation for help it's usually given at the back of the paper so make sure you do write in edexcel notation pseudocode notation so set in capitals the variable is count, that's lowercase, to zero. There, so that's given me one mark. So I've dealt with variables. I think that's enough variables there. Now I go and look at this. There's no input. So the I is taken care of. This word is already set to elephant. We don't need an input. Now I'm going to look at the R, the repeat. So I've given a for loop there for each letter from word do. That is my repeat. So now I'm going to move on to T, the test. Okay, I'm going to test if letter in the word is a vowel. So the variable is called letter and it's going to be each letter in word. So for each letter from word, do. So now my test, if letter is equal to A or letter is equal to E or any of the vowels, then I'm going to add one to the count. Now this should all be on one line, but it won't let me do that because it's too, there's too much writing there. But if letter equals A in quotation marks or letter equals E, etc., then 
So that is my test. What do I need to do with that? I need to add one to the count. Set count to count plus one. Now I need to end the if. You must always end the if. So unlike in Python, there must be an end if. So there's my end if. Now, are there any calculations that need to be done? No, there's no maths involved. There's no calculations that need to be done. So the only thing left for me to do is the output. And that's part of the bullet points anyway. So end for each. So after that loop has finished, it's been through every single letter in Word. We can then do our output. So we'll do our output now to complete this question. And in Edexcel notation, I need to write send the number of vowels is and the count to display. So send whatever I want to send and the count, the output of the count, the number of the count to display. And that completes that question for five marks using Vertigo. Try that yourself. Try some practice questions. Try that out in your exam. It may help you. This might also help you with uh, Python questions as well. So remember Vertco, like a company, Vertco, on the side of a lorry, Vertco. I hope this video has helped. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.